Hi everyone, I am Savita Meri, Assistant Professor of Mathematics, St. Joseph College of Arts and Science, Kadalu. In this video, uh, I am going to explain about the countable sets. And first, uh, see the definition of countable set. A set A is said to be countable if it is a finite set or uh, it is equivalent to the set of positive integers. Equivalent means it is both 1 to 1 and on to so the positive integers why we are using positive integers so when you are counting something you are using the number 1 2 3 etc that is the natural numbers or positive integers that's why you are using the condition equivalent to the set of positive integers okay then see the theorem here the countable union of countable set is countable. So, countable sets. There are some countable sets. A1, A2, A3, etc. Are some countable sets. The union of sets is countable. Which we wish to prove. The union of set is countable. And let us take the set A1. And it, it has some uh, elements. It is identified by a1 power 1, a2 power 1 and a3 power 1. So, the identification used to um, some particular reason. Why? Because uh, the base, uh, I mean, so subscript elements of 1, 2, 3 are representing the place values. That is the first element, second element, third element like that. And the superscript number 1 represent the uh, element belongs to which set. So, it is the element belongs to the first set means it is A1 power 1. And the set A2, it is the second set. Here the elements are A1 power 2, A2 power 2, A3 power 2. The superscripts are represented by 2 because every element lies in the second set. So, uh, that's why we are representing every uh, element of the second set is uh, A1 power 2, A2 power 2 and so on. Likewise, we identify the nth, uh, nth set of elements or a1 power n, a2 power n, a3 power n. So, there is a, the n representing the, the nth set nth set of uh, the given countable sets. Okay. So, this is the identification for the uh, set of countable sets. Now, so here... There is another one concept. You are using uh, some height for each element. So, using some height. Why do we using height? Uh, suppose, if we, if you want to count uh, a number of students sitting in the classroom, means uh, you are using some pattern to count the students. Either uh, row-wise counting or column-wise counting or zigzag counting. So, you can use some pattern to count the student. It is easy to count and uh, we will not measure any one of the students uh, to count so like this way to count the element also i'm going to use some pattern so that pattern is the order or uh, the height of order okay so the height of order is described by uh, j plus k j plus k means the superscript element the place value of the element and the uh, um, subscript element so superscript and subscript elements added by uh, j plus k and which is taken as the height of the element okay and see the a k j is the kth element of the set j if it is a uh, a 1 1 means a 1 for example if it is a 1 1 means so the first element of the set uh, a1 if it is 2 3 means there is a, the second element of the set 3 okay a, a3 the set a3 so likewise you can identify the element by using the order uh, order of height j plus k okay so define the height as j plus k then there are um, a1 power 1 is the only element of height 2. There exists only one element of height 2 and uh, there exists only 
three elements of height. I'm sorry, only two element of height three. There are only two elements of height three. And see the a one one is the only element of height two. A two one, A one two is uh, or the only element of height three. Then what about height four? So that is uh, height four means A one three. A two two. A three one. These are the three elements which have height four. Okay, so there are three elements, or only there are three elements have height four. So only three elements have height four. Likewise, there are four elements have height five. Okay, so likewise in general we say there are m minus one elements of height m. There are m minus one elements of height m. Okay. So in general, we say m minus one elements of height m. And now we may arrange and count easily like this way. See that there is an arrangement by the order of height. We can arrange the elements like this pattern, and you can easily count uh, without missing any number. Okay, so a one n power one the element which have height one. The element which have height two, next two elements which have height three, then three element which have height four, and so on. So like this way we can count the elements easily. Then so the another way of counting. This is a, a the array order. It is easy to count the elements by the array order. The first row. The first row elements are taken from the first set. The second row elements are taken from the second set, and third row elements, and so on. So then you can see the the first element height two, next arrow, then another arrow. So taking another two elements of height three, next by the another arrows, taking another three elements of height four. Next, by the another arrow, we can take another four elements of height five. Likewise, we can arrange and count the numbers which lies on the union of sets. So it is easy to identify and and count the order of uh, union of sets. So likewise, we can. Count all the all the elements in the set of union of a n. So that means it is countable set. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching the video.